Yeah, Olivia, I'm still here at the mobile home park where, like you said, multiple structure fires were reported here today, but crews have made a lot of progress in their cleanup. Now, as you can see behind me, they are starting to thin out and a lot of um, a lot of debris has been cleaned up since too. Now, this all started as one mobile home structure fire, but because of the high winds, it spread very rapidly. Like you mentioned, this all started at the Portola Palms mobile home park at around 1.30 this afternoon. Like I said, only one double wide trailer and surrounding trees were affected, but quickly became multiple structures. Cal Fire says one mobile home has been destroyed and four others are damaged, with one being outside of the park. The high winds were picking up hot embers and spreading them across the community and were raining down on Portola Avenue. The flames were hopping from palm tree to palm tree, causing Lincoln Elementary and the Palm Desert Charter Middle School to evacuate. Parents of the schools have reached out saying how hectic it was to pick up their kids and leave. Now, dozens of people who live in Portola Palms are waiting to go back home. I came home and I saw smoke and the house, three houses down for me was on fire, but I thought it was gonna be okay because the fire truck was behind me and I figured they'd get it out. And then I looked up and all the palm trees were on fire and they kept going on fire and going on fire. And the big one next to my house was on fire and they were trying to get them out. And it's so hard because the wind's blowing. I don't know how many miles an hour right now. It must be at least 15 or 20 miles an hour. And they're all whirlwind. Like it's frightening, it's scary. It was awful. It's awful. And it's still going. It hasn't stopped yet. It's coming back this way again. This has been classified as a four alarm fire. Southbound Portola Avenue from Quicksilver, from Quicksilver to Rutledge is still closed to all traffic. Now two firefighter injuries have been reported with non life threatening injuries and the American Red Cross has been asked to assist with anyone that is displaced. Now the cause of this fire is still under investigation, so we're still learning a lot of this information, but we'll keep you updated once we know more. Live in Palm Desert, Carmela Karcher, NBC Palm Springs News First.